Hello everyone, this is Zodiac, and uh, this is just a quick run on Winter Mayhem Legend difficulty. Uh, for those still trying to do it, Limit Burst, Esper Kill, and No KO. Uh, usually what I recommend for a group is, <laughs> based on what I'm seeing right now, Christine seems to be the go-to. As you can see, I have no one on my friends list with Felix or uh, the new Alchemy user. So, yeah, it probably stands to show that this banner is not very popular with most people. King of Hearts. So, that's probably why most of that's going on right now. Oh, I do want to make one quick change here. Uh, let's do that. I prefer Diablo. Oh, wait. I think, yeah, it resists dark 50%, but the damage still gets there. I do recommend you at least have two seven-star units going into this. White Knight and a Well, two Christines. If you somehow got lucky enough, it's usually good enough for it to work. Uh, I actually kept a second uh, Santa Rosalie on reserve in case she was going to go to seven, but obviously she didn't. Uh, the second one's just brought Riku's pouch along for, you know, the, the occasional chaos grenade. I'll go over equipment real quick. As you can see, just high spirit, double holy spam. Buffing, just, you know, just some extra defense and stuff. I uh, went ahead and geared White Knight Noel more for the tanking for the final boss. And I've got Tinker Carry with Sparky and what would normally be an olive build, except not olive. All right, so here's how this kind of plays out. This is about the only one where status ailments might actually be a factor, but usually with Gilbert, open up with Finale. And then I will typically just follow up with AOE damage like Glacial Storm, Explosive Ornaments, and Glacial Wave. Just kind of let those go out there. Well, the Domo Voice survived, so a, sim a simple Holy ought to be enough. And this is why having the Holy Staff for uh, Santa Rosalia is kind of nice, because it allows her to actually DPS with her spirit. Okay, so we didn't get any bonus, but that's okay. On Wandering One, it's weak to ice. So you want to do as much single target ice attack as you can. So with like Tinker or Carry, you can do Mechanical Yeti. And just come back in with Glacial Wave. And Santa Rosalia can actually dual cast Holy right now. And I forgot to buff. Make sure you don't forget those. Buffing is important. You also want to try to build your uh, Esper Gauge as much as possible. Now, what it'll do is if you push it past a certain point, it'll cast Protect and Shell. It might pop somebody for some damage, but it, it it's not going to be much. Simply just redo the Dispel and then just beat it and get some more Esper Gauge, Bill. Round three is the Abix. I can't, again, depending on your group comp, this will either be easy or this could be more difficult. I don't think this one's weak to Ice. So I might have a Tinker or Carry change up here. And I'm just going to try to push a little extra damage there. Now, this next one here, with all the presents, is your best bet to get, like, um, Esper Orbs. So this is usually where I just pop out a Chaos Grenade, usually have AoE damage go out, and this will usually fill your gauge. You don't even have to use Gilbert here. They're, they'll go down pretty quick. Ooh, didn't get the gauge filled, though. That could be a problem. All right, if Gilbert's Lumen Break is up, usually I recommend just popping the Lumen Break. Usually have Christine do a Snow Surge so that she's buffed. White Knight Noel has to pretty much tank this, so do bring it on. Santa Rosalia will do Chaos Grenade to break the boss. And now we got to get a little lucky and hope that Robot Soldiers gets us the last orb we need. It did. Okay. Howling Moon with Fenner is great because this allows for the physical evade. If you want to try to get the uh, Esper dodge. The only problem is you sacrifice the Diablos there. So you can always come back later on and try that out. And, whoa, it went through. Note to self, guys, Fenrir didn't work. That, well, that's unfortunate. 
All right, so, oh, not trinket, soldier. And then typically with Christine, you want to quad cast absolute zero and then have white knight no will double cast blizzadja. Actually, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I don't think he countered. Nope, he didn't. So, yeah, he's going to have to dual cast uh, freeze and blizzadja. I'll just have her heal everybody. And then we'll put on Rejuvenating Finale. Hopefully this will be enough to take him out. Yep, it was enough. So, yeah, usually in that instance, if you're trying to go for Esper Kill, I usually recommend your free person, whoever that may be, just summon Diablos. It'll be 50% resist, but it's enough for it to calculate the damage for it to count. Overall, this isn't hard. You don't actually have to roll for the new units. As you can see, it's perfectly winnable with two Santa Rosalias, your, uh, at least some kind of seven star from the previous pass that can deal some kind of damage. A buffer with Gilbert. He, even Gilbert is, is enough. But I'd say your best bet for friend units right now is hunt down Christine's. If you've got two Christine's, you're, you're probably going to mow this over. But wouldn't hurt to have a tank unit or find some way to one-shot the boss. It's only 2 million HP in week to, I believe, ice. Well, I hope everybody's having fun and uh, <clears throat> hope to see some Felixes soon. But other than that, I guess I'll, everybody, like everybody else, just bank for Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Later.